Yeah, yeah. To my brother, still disrespecting hoes. Yes, ma'am, to my mother. In this life, we need you either stack or you fumble. For the next day, out the gym, hold the muscle. You sign, no, you're not. Is you coming? No, you're not. I got it now, I'm spinning now. They fresh up out the pot. Is you slide? No, you're not. Is you coming? No, you're not. I got it now, I'm spinning now. They fresh up out the pot. Man, I'll go by ESCDs, man. I'm an artist slash. CEO slash manager slash do it all, man. You got to do it all in this shit that we do. So that's who I am, man. E S C D S E S C D S E S I D S E D S man. What up? That's what up, what's bro? up? And where you from? Where you born and raised? Man, I'm from. Uh, I'm originally from the east side of Chicago, man, but. Earth is our turf, you know, feel the guap shit, but from the east side of Chicago, man, everybody know what the weather that is. If you know, everybody know what that Chicago is becoming a staple in the world. So people, you know, they wanna know what it's about, what it is. I'm from the east side, you know. But hey, and how would you describe going up in Chicago? Growing up in Chicago is like, we gonna um, look at it like growing up in a, in a, in a um, gumbo pot. Shit, you got your hot shit, you got your shit that, that make you feel good when you, as soon as you taste it. Mm, you got the shit that's supposed to be there. So it's like a gumbo pot, man. It's like, you either do, you don't. Um, same thing as any other city, gang bang shit. Uh, prostitution, drug, all the treacherous shit It's some love shit too It's some beautiful sights, you know It's just where you wanna be, how you wanna do it If you wanna be around broke nigga shit You be around broke nigga shit You wanna be around unconducive to positivity shit All that type of shit So, you know, it's all type of shit, man It's like, this shit beautiful though It shapes you, if it's gonna shape you You know what I'm saying Pressure bust pipes or make dime Yeah so what advice do you got for somebody who just come to Chicago? They want to survive. What what they got to do? Because that's what everybody want to know. You that's go somewhere different, different, they say, how you, they want to know how you survive Chicago. How you survive Chicago. Too. Yeah. Uh, what best advice you got? Shit, that's a good question. Um, shit, nigga. Um... <laughs> Figure out what you want to do here. Don't just be in the way here. Figure out what you want. What, what is your stick? What you trying to do, nigga? Uh, you want to be this? You want to be that? Uh, and once you figure that out, you home in on that. So, for example, you want to um, you want to be a school. You, you want to go to work. You want to... Uh, man, you, <laughs> figure out what you want to do. Like I just was telling y'all, you know, uh, nigga know what they want to do nine times out of ten. And when I say nigga, I'm speaking women and men. Nigga know what they want to do nine times out of ten before they even do it. We all do. It's already programmed in us. Uh, we just, you know what I'm saying? Need a uh or uh, uh. Simple. But nigga, stick to the script. Know what you want to do here. Because this shit get treacherous if you fuck up and find out, you know? Yeah. Uh, how long you been rapping? Man, I've been doing this shit for a few years now, man. Um, I take it serious. Uh, I love this shit. This shit like, this shit like my life. It's became my life. I, I born into this shit. Been doing this since nine. First, like, man, bro. Like, I'm here. 
man, I ain't going nowhere. That's what that's what it is. Right. <laughs> that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? What? I decided to just take a different route than my than my brother. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I just wanted to pursue my, you know, my passion. Shit, I just wanted to do do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I been doing this shit since forever. And just had so many pictures on the wall, you know, from painting like how to do it. And I want to do it my way. Put my meal, my 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 invention on the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Not reinvent it. Just put my invention onto it. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Who influenced you to like do your first song or something like that? What made you write your first? Who or what influenced you to make your first song? Influences. Yeah, like what made you write your first song? I know. Um, we both know, bro, and that's why I love. I love doing shit that I know what I'm doing. I ain't opposed to doing shit I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing with this as far as who I'm doing it with. And we both know D2G. That's who hit me to this shit. That's nobody else. I'm playing football. I'm trying to be you. Mm. Y'all don't know. My boy behind the camera was fucking Ricky Waters with this shit, with this football shit. Look up Ricky Waters for y'all to Google that. And that's who he was with this shit for real. And that's what I was trying to be a sports kid when I came to the East Side and met my boy D2G. You know what I'm saying? He put them headphones on my head, met the man, the red man, how high that and changed my life. No bullshit. And from there, it's on to right now type shit. So, shit, I'll probably say D2G. No bullshit, bro, bro, bro. I, I'm playing football and basketball trying to do that type shit. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, guy, what's your name? Put these on your ear and put some headphones. I'm hearing, I'm already seeing it, for, I'm hearing it from somebody my age, and yeah. he's writing raps, and his, you know him, he's writing raps in second grade, Jay. damn, shorty, he's seriously, bro, no bullshit, so, yeah, that type of shit, he's my motivation, man, that's my nigga, to this day. Bad, bad, bad. What was your first song, and was was it hot or not? Uh, uh, <laughs> no first. cap, nigga. No but, cap. Cause we gonna play that shit in the background, now, nigga. Hey, my first name was uh, Double D. Uh, we can sell, we can sell, we can sell. Double D. Uh, and D Two G Fake gave me that name, Double D. Like he, that's my first. Like I'm older than bro, but he like my like in this shit. He like my big brother type shit. So it's like. Uh, he gave me that name, and uh, Double D, and the first rap, the first rap, I'm thinking the first rap, I know, uh, shit, uh, forgot that we, cause we wrote it in the notepad, it was like fourth grade, maybe, like fourth grade, no bullshit, Miss Alpha class, that's when we started to shout out to CN City too, cause he was in there, but, like fourth grade, bro, I don't remember the rap per se, but I know D remember, D2G remember, I promise, I know he's somewhere listening, he remember, but that was the first time, that was the first time, like fourth grade, no bullshit, like the first real song, second grade, I'm hearing him, he doing it, I'm just, third grade, I'm just really getting it, but fourth grade is when I really wrote. And what's and the name it. of the song? I got it. Matter of fact, you asked me that. What's the name? Keep all man? this, nigga. I gotta do this. What's I'm the just, name of the song, I'm nigga? You right now, no, it's not what the name of the song is. What is? It's what it is, right? Cause I didn't write my original, but this helped me to this day. Okay. Know what I did? Mm. Shout out to Funk Master Flex. Shout out to the Locks. Shout out, rest in peace to one of the greatest rappers ever, Notorious B. I'm a B-side nigga. For those who like music, they know what that. I'm a B-side. So Biggie and the Locks got a famous freestyle on the Funk Flex. It's a famous underground freestyle. Nigga Marvin, no, Marvin caught me when he found out. I rewrote Biggie verse. New York, uh, uh, the New York Yankees. I put the Chicago White Sox in it and flipped it and did some shit like that. And this is the first that it on my dead. This is the first rap I've ever wrote. I just reflip Biggie shit. And Marvin ended up catching me. Hey, this like fourth grade. My Marvin on Marvin can vouch for this. He didn't catch me until eighth grade around lunchtime. He said, hey, 
I know what I heard. Hey, he play. I put that on my dick. Hey, pops, you know I ain't Captain Marvel. No, I ain't Captain. He said, I know where you got that from. I said, damn. And that really motivated me around a grade to really side. I'm writing real songs, like real yeah, songs, songs stuff. three verses type shit. But yeah, that Biggie and New, they know what I'm talking Google it. Biggie and the Locks Freestyle on Funk Master Flex. I redid Biggie verse. That verse was so hard to me. Bad, 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 bad. Uh, what uh, what high school you went to? Shit, I went to man. I ain't know. Uh, some legends went there after me, but the shit, I went to High Park, bro. We had a lot of legends, and uh, uh, Yaya went there too. So it's like it's, this shit, so this shit just it's crazy to me to see all the things, all the shit. Coming in there not knowing nobody, not knowing nothing, but High Park Career Academy again, but like going there and not knowing what you finna do in life, what's finna happen, like this, you meet like to have friends like this nigga, man, like I told y'all, I've been knowing this nigga since 14 years old, nigga, you feel me, this nigga behind the camera, vice versa, we the same age, vice versa, you know, and we build like to have friendships off of this type shit, you know what I'm saying, so. Shit, I went to High Park, but uh, aside from me, Louis went there. Shout out to Bro. Uh, Samson went there. Uh, shout out to Fool. Uh, uh, Herb went there, from what I heard. Shout out to Fool. Uh, County Boy Rob went there. Uh, it's some niggas went there, man. Uh, Keneal went there. Shout out to Impressive. Uh, D2G went there. Shout out to my fucking boy. Uh, Doe Marley went there. If y'all know anything about King Louie and Fly NT and all that, y'all know what Doe what do. Doe went there. It, it, it's a it's a cluster fuck us that went there. Gregory Hines, nigga. Uh, <laughs> all many rippers. That's our we got we got legends that went to have parts. So. Hell yeah. That part. And that was that was the last option, nigga. I was finna go to South Shore. My mama literally going to the dentist right there in Hat Park and rolled past see late registration. She said, either South Shore or there. And I say, shit, go there, let's see. And they let me in. Mm. They let me in them grades when high enough for more part fuck. Everybody trying to get it. Fuck, no, boy, I want to go to MP, bro. Uh, nah, yeah. bro. I want to go to MP, bro. Uh. Nah, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. In high school though, yo ass, you was the first nigga like I knew like my age and shit that rap and shit. Man, Straight up, and yo ass was going man. crazy. Hey, Ollie, and then uh, and I call you Ali because that's you, my bro. Yeah, man, yeah, bro. That's I was just telling somebody that on, on, on some all Joe sad, like on some real shit. I was just telling somebody like, bro, I'm one of the first niggas. Not on no big dick shit. Uh, you know I'm humble, bro. Mm -hmm. Niggas think that I talk shit. You know I'm really a humble ass nigga. G. I be chilling, talk shit with my guys type shit. We gonna talk shit out there, but one of the first young niggas. One of the first young niggas. Cause you gotta think everybody was Kanye age. Buck, yeah. Buck was the first youngest nigga where we seen like a 20 year old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, one of the first. And I Little nigga, niggas, for to real. Me, I don't, if you gotta give it to somebody else, it's really Shorty K. I'm walking through the Black Expo, bro. And that's some motivation. Shout out to K, that's my nigga. Shorty, I'm seeing Shorty K on post. Look, young nigga, Bow Wow age on posters with the chain. I'm walking through with my mama and auntie now. Huh? Okay, man, he got a whole look. That shit motivation. You know? Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Shorty K, but besides him, shit, me, Dita. Shout out to Dita too. We some of the first. For real. He's really putting the. Trying to put pressure on shit type shit. Early. Early. Nah, no, for real. You was out here early doing that shit. For real. Pressure. Yes, sir. I, know, I remember that shit. Even when I got, I started rapping, I'm like, damn, I should have been rapping with that nigga, man. Bro, Fool was bro, in bro. it early. Yeah, though. Cause I wasn't, here, but man. I wasn't rapping then, you feel me? Bro, picture, we had like Facebook and Instagram and all that shit when we was in high school, bro. <laughs> you feel me? We didn't have that. We ain't had that shit, we boy. We, it's Look, going we, crazy. Bro, I'm to tell you, we some of the first internet babies. And you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You walking the middle stairs and going there. Mm -hmm. I'm just some of the first time I'm seeing computers. Yeah, when yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Breckenridge. We both had Miss Breckenridge. That's some of the first time we see. Shout out Miss Breckenridge. Rest in <laughs> peace, beautiful lady. Because I uh, Shout yeah. out Miss Breckenridge. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, man. Listen. Yeah, this shit different now, bro. Yeah, it is. All right, uh, uh, 
Have you ever been in jail? Jail? Yeah, I've been locked up. What? Damn, uh, I love that. Hell no, nah, yeah. my image won't allow me to answer that question. Nigga, I ain't yeah. answer no question. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's some real shit though, man. Hell yeah, and that shit be goofy as hell. Like, you know what I, you know what I, uh, what I, what I ask him, what I tell a motherfucker, and motherfucker when they ask you that, my usually my slick reply, my slick reply be like, nah, but I know how the inside of a the university look. You know, yeah. like, I'm a deadly nigga, baby. Hold on, you know, talk shit, but on some real shit, yeah, man. But not bad choice, but I guess bad choice because nigga ain't no excuses when you do something after 25, ain't no excuses. Yeah. On some real shit, simple and plain, you should know, and even for funny and but. After 25, ain't no excuses. So, yeah, man. Call the uh, pipe case. Being goofy. Um, six months. Sat down for a little minute. Got my Ooh, brother. Got my mind right for a minute. Um, shout out to Decker Durs in the motherfucking in the motherfucking building. Shout out to Ron Durs. One under there. Shout out to Il Gore in the motherfucking bro. Decker Durs, baby. Yeah, what's good? Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, um, so yeah, bro. I, um, shit. Ah, oh, man. Where was we at, bro? I'm on all this. I guess. Uh, we talked about the pipe case. Yeah, man, I caught a pipe case. Uh, sat down for a couple months. That was some of the, hey, Ali G, no bullshit. Goofy shit to talk about. I want the world to know this is goofy shit to cap about, mm -hmm. to big teeth about, you know? But I'm just talking to my bro. But, bro, that was some of the most peaceful sleep I've got to that point in a long time. You feel me? Just getting over critness. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Nigga, after a long stretch, you hear me? Of just getting over critness. You feel me? To at the end, I call, I'm just getting over crit. Then, little bro died. Rest in peace to my brother Rico, my blood brother. Rest in peace, G. Then Rico that then it's like, oh, you get through back. Then you catch a pipe case and it's like a ton of a cluster fuck of fuckery. But you you haven't got no sleep like that in almost ten years to that point. And when you go to jail for that time, bro. You ain't sat down, you ain't sobered up, you been dope fiend out here dagging like a dope fiend, smoking, acting crazy. You know? Mm. And you get to a point where you get some rest, you get the clear vision. You write this shit down. I still got the yellow notepads right now to this day in my office. I got them right now, bro. The yellow notepads I was writing down every day, just writing thoughts down. Wrote a book in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't wait to can't wait to publish this shit. Real book, bro. It's, it's called uh, Play Play Like Biggie got the Ten Crack Commandments. Players Handbook, and it ain't mm -hmm. about no bitches. It's just you know that's the name of it. Players Handbook, man. Shit, man, bro. Uh, that was some of the best time because you come out and you watching yourself. You come here, like you say, one of the first young niggas in your career, what you want to do. You come here, you come here, then you come here. Then you come here and you see like, damn, I, I got to reassess and adjust accordingly. Then you come from here back to halfway up here. You don't want to toot your own, but you come halfway up here somewhere. You like, damn, that was fake easy. <laughs> if, if you just account yourself for everything, to not account yourself for everything, if that makes sense. Nigga, involve yourself to not involve yourself. What are you saying? You already know you're supposed to be in bullshit. Because bullshit happens, you're supposed to be. Nigga, just don't do it. Simple as that, bro, type shit. So that shit was the best shit ever, bro. I swear to God it was. Not even on no lame shit. Charleston White goof ass be saying that shit. Like jail, best thing for a nigga. Man, listen, cause I'm one of him. I'm one of him, like he say, nigga, I ain't supposed to be doing that. Ali, you know me. Mm -hmm. I'm a player, man. You don't do no goof. Go to jail and they tell you to check your ass and go yeah. sit down for a minute. Nigga, sit down for a minute. That's what they tell you. That's how you get up. It's six thirty. No, I don't get up at six thirty yeah. yet. No, uh, get up now. It's time to get your count on, nigga, and eat. Come eat some breakfast. <laughs> they tell you that. That shit. Goofy as hell, man. I was on Division 6, too, in the Cook County Jail, man. Shit was weak as hell, man. Lame as hell. For that, bro. That's why I just, you answered my question already. How you, what you, you already answered my next question. It was what you gonna think. What do you think you could have did to avoid it? 
that what case. What you could have did to avoid that case. <sighs> what you could have did to avoid that shit. Motherfucker got down on me. Motherfucker don't think I know. Here come that Gemini that say that you scream and do that all that. Motherfucker got down on me. Motherfucker gonna act like they don't know like I know. Motherfucker know what's happening. Let this shit go out like this, Ali. Motherfucker got down on me, Ali. I don't get down on. I have to get down on type. You don't get down on me. I love being small and and unpredictable. You right. feel me? We the same height, so you get this gist. You know what you can... You, and I love it because it's the element of surprise so nigga don't get it but long story short motherfucker get down on me I want to get back like a nigga gonna want to get back and in that moment you know what that is that's bullshit emotion folks pride that's bullshit pride. That nigga emotion yeah, you know what I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you I'm just coming out of war path from my brother on my neck our brother forgive me yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris our brother I'm coming out of war path folks. like just thinking about my nigga going through this shit for almost 10 years I, when I look back I'm like damn you went you was just moving folks you know, mm -hmm. and you get to a point where you finna come out and you feel it, and then your brother, and your man, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but that shit just, I, I get it. Like I was just telling you, it's just like you see it in front of you, like it's never gonna go away. And you just you move a left and you move a right, and you wiggle right out of it, and you go to, and it's just like you keep going, man. You staying persistent, you staying down. But I could have avoided that simple. Talking my motherfucking feelings, bro. Sitting on them bitches. You know he did that, nigga. But hey, like, like, did that. Nah, that's nigga. the real nigga, shit. You, there, ain't it? Nigga, you know the rules come with this. Yeah. You know they rules. You know they rules. Ain't no. <laughs> and that's how he gonna tell me. Rest in peace, bro. That's how that nigga gonna tell me. You know the rules. Shout out on one hand, I don't want that, nah. Hey, that's 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 some real shit right there, bro. Talk your emotion, young nigga. That's why a lot of niggas sitting right now with emotions, bro. And Trying to prove I'm something saying. to somebody I, that don't even every, benefit you. Months, every day a new nigga come in, whether it's five new a new niggas gonna come in, mm -hmm. right? And that's all you see, gang, is emotion. emotion yeah, yeah. Emotion, goofy shit. Yeah. He tripping. He tweaked out. He fighting over a bitch. He just be like, damn, damn, man, weird shit. Stay focused, man. Stay balanced, brother. Fuck focus. Stay balanced, cause all that shit is in the balance, man. Focus, all that shit. Stay balanced, man. Mm hmm Bad, bad, bad. All uh, right. So what you got going now? Like what you said? What's your project you working on? Uh, right now, man, I'm working on my debut album, man. I got over 27 projects out right now. Those is just me shooting V's, man, and I don't want y'all to mistake that and think it's no effort put in there because I put my blood, sweat, and tears to everything I do, but that's just like, man, you ain't even seen what's next type shit. But um, I got over 27 projects on all DSPs, man. Look up ESCDs, just E-S-C-D-E-E-Z. Just look that up, man. Shit, it's gonna take you to where you need to go. 27 projects, collaborative projects. Shout out to Drew Jiller, shout out to Ebone, and two of my boys, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got albums, shout out to Easy OL. We got an album, that's my blood right there. Um, just working, man. Right now, though, El Cabrio. By the time y'all see this and see this chopped up, how my boy gonna chop it up and spice it up, El Cabrio, y'all Google that, see what that means. El Cabrio, man, is just that's just a manifestation of everything I've been telling you since the Biggie verse to right now. You know, El Cabrio, um, it's a it's it's a it's a collection of just man beautiful works. I can't wait to display to the world. Lead single, my first official single, Dead Man Walking. I'm looking in the camera on that Dead Man Walking, produced by Coach Fatality. Um, I'm finna push it, we finna push it, we finna push it, we finna push it. And uh, I got the Field to Guap Cartel, man. That's the label, man. That's the label that signs us, that pays us. Uh, big motherfucking Jada. Uh, Cartel Splash. Picasso Jr. Cella Blanco. God Stacks. That's what it is, man. And that's 
It's what it is. Glass House Inc. Guest Check ENT. That's what it is. Shout out to Big Folks. That's my brother. Shout out to uh, Drewski. Shout out to Keish. Mila Mila. Um, this is what we come to do, man. We come to wreak havoc. Um, El Cabrio, we working. We got hella videos. Yaya just shot one for us. Uh, spinning that, look that up. Uh, ESCDs, Cartel Splash, Spinning that. Uh, Yaya Production, he's a fucking goat, fucking master with that camera. Um, big motherfucker Jada going crazy. The biggest in the rack um, on the female side, man. I promise, Shorty, man. Sis, forgive me, that's my sister. Man, she going crazy. She going crazy, man. We just working, man. Filthy Guap shit, man. Look up that. Filthy Guap. Big motherfucking J the Cartel Splash. Shout out to my brother. You know, he finna reinvent the game. Let's get it.